have any heroes. What is a hero? Heroes are people whose actions or character causes us to admire them. Sometimes they do very brave things or sometimes they do things that make us want to follow their example. Heroes start off being ordinary people. They do extraordinary things. Esther was an ordinary girl, a Jew in a foreign land, a girl who became the queen of Persia. And as the queen, she did some very brave things, things that saved her people. Heroes don't have to do everything right. They don't have to be brave all the time, but something that they do causes us to look up to them and want to be like them. Our environment needs its heroes and they can be people like you and me. You don't have to search very long to find an environmental hero. They could be in your family or someone whom you know. I'm going to talk about three of my environmental heroes, people who have influenced others for good. The first hero is my husband's mum, Nancy. Nancy grew up in rural Western Victoria, which was a very hot and dry area. She became very good at saving water. and She had a bucket in the bath to catch the shower water before it was warm enough to shower. She grew many of her vegetables, composted anything that was not used for meal, and made her own preserves. She even used fruit trees from the street to make sauces and jam. She spent many hours in the garden growing plants from seeds and cuttings rather than buying plants and she used cardboard and newspaper for mulch. Nancy greatly influenced her son John who worked in horticulture and conservation. He has supervised many environmental projects and has influenced a new generation of environmental leaders. Another of my environmental heroes is my daughter, Anna. With her husband and young son, she lives in a one bedroom apartment in Gordon. In her tiny courtyard, she grows lemons and limes and herbs. She composts, recycles, dries and freezes extra produce, she doesn't use paper products like tissues or hanky. She uses hankies. She uses washcloths and cloth nappies. She buys dried food in shops where she takes her own canisters to be refilled and buys eco-friendly cleaning products in bulk. By sending emails to companies, she has influenced two companies to explain their materials and how they can be recycled. She's also a great op shopper and a gum tree user and is a member of a free cycle share group. My third environmental hero is someone I met at church when I was a teenager. He lived in the street next to mine. He was concerned how the street in our part of the suburb was just bitumen and cement. Over the years, through his vision and efforts, trees were planted in the footpath of the suburb. The difference to the street is amazing. The suburb is softer and greener and the trees pump out oxygen and help clean the air. Sometimes people become environmental heroes by not letting others do the wrong thing. All over New South Wales, farmers and environmentalists have joined together to stop big business and the government from polluting underground water. We can all be heroes, each of us. Each of us can make a difference in our own small way. And who knows whom we might influence and what heroic deeds they might achieve. It's like lighting one another's candle with our own. In the words of the Christian song, one candle lights one candle, two candles light four, and where they shine, there is no darkness anymore.